Environmentalists and scientists north of Santa Cruz recently started giving coho salmon some help by reintroducing them to Pescadero Creek. News 8's John Stiles shares the story in this Earth 8 report. I did a story a month ago where we released baby California halibut back into Mission Bay. Well, a very similar thing is taking place just north of Santa Cruz, where fingerling coho salmon were released back into Pescadero Creek. Thousands of baby coho salmon arrive by four-wheel drive truck, getting as close as it can to the Pescadero Creek where a small army of folks start loading special backpacks and heading down to the stream. All right, off into the wild. This project has been in the works for years. Ranchers, farmers, and all major public agencies finally got on the same page and major portions of the creek are now restored. Once released, the baby salmon quickly run for hiding places. They will uh, spend this winter in the creek. They'll go out to the ocean next spring. They'll spend about a year and a half out there and then hopefully they'll return back to Pescadero. This big? Or bigger. 10,000 baby coho salmon released in different spots. The fingerlings supplied by the Monterey Salmon and Trout Project with NOAA supervising and sponsored by the San Mateo Resource Conservation District. We removed a dam and did other things to um, ensure that fish had access to an additional 62 miles of habitat 62 upstream. 62 miles here. Yeah. That's 62 a lot miles. of creek. It's a lot of creek. However, scientists here estimate that of the 10,000 baby salmons released today, only 2% 2 or 200 may survive and return to spawn. Lots of assaults to these fish, whether it be from timber harvest or water withdrawals or natural things like fire. Um, you know, these watersheds yeah. have been through a lot. And while 200 salmon returning back upstream doesn't sound like much, it's a start in helping Mother Nature recover.